everyone. This is Needle Pointers. Have you ever heard of chicken scratch embroidery? It is a simple traditional type of embroidery, very popular in the 1930s through the 1950s. Sometimes it's referred to as Amish embroidery, snowflake embroidery, or depression lace. Our tutorial today is how to make a chicken scratch Christmas tree using our original free chicken scratch pattern. The supplies you will need is the pattern. You can download that from our website. There'll be a link in the description. Some gingham fabric. Traditionally, chicken scratch embroidery was worked on gingham fabric, which is a checkered fabric. This makes counting the stitches quite easy. An embroidery hoop, embroidery thread, embroidery needle, scissor, and pins. After you download the pattern, take a look at it, and you will see that it has a stitch key and also a color key. Of course, you can change the colors if you'd like, and then check out the pattern for what stitch you will be doing in each of the squares on the gingham fabric. The pattern consists of 19 rows. I have marked here the 10th row would be the middle. And I would suggest that you start at the top of the tree. Now the very top one is a star. So the top of the tree is right here. So from the middle of the fabric, you want to count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. To find the middle of the fabric, I folded the fabric in half and then in half again. I'm placing a pin where the middle is. It should be right about there. I'm going to open it up. Okay, so let's say that this is the middle of the fabric. And now I'm going to count up eight squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is where I'm going to begin the tree on the fabric. Before you begin stitching, you want to put your fabric into an embroidery hoop and also thread your needle. The number of strands of embroidery thread used depends on the size of the little squares. Uh, my fabric the squares are slightly larger than a quarter of an inch. So I am going to use three strands of embroidery floss. Then take a look at your pattern. And as you can see, we're doing the outline of the tree first. And there's also a few lines in between of the tree. According to the color chart, I'm using DMC 319 embroidery floss and also because it's a little star I'm going to be using the double cross stitch to outline the tree. So let me show you how to do the double cross stitch. Bring the needle up from the back of the fabric I can now remove my needle because I know where I'm stitching. Do a diagonal line down. Go over to the other side and come up. And again, a diagonal line. Now you've done a cross stitch. Next, you're going to bring the needle up right between the bottom of the cross stitch, down through the top, Then 
over between the cross stitch on the side and then down. Now, you're going to continue to do this to outline the tree. My next one, according to the chart, I'll let you see. This is the one we just did. The next one would be right here. So let me show you again. Now, once you know what you're doing, I was doing the uh, tuck and pull method or stab and pull, but you can do actually do like a sewing type if you want. That's what I'm going to show you right now. So continue doing this, outlining the tree according to the chart, and also doing the middle section. And then I'll show you what you have to do next. I've finished outlining the Christmas tree, and now what I would suggest that you do next, according to the pattern, is where the little X's are. And for this, I used DMC floss uh, 320 and the X's are also the same stitch that you did before. It would be the double cross stitch and you're starting to fill in the Christmas tree. So let's begin and I'll just show you how to get started on this one. Okay, you of course put your project in your embroidery hoop. Oh, it looks like I have it caught. Let me undo it and redo it again. There we go. Now, you will see, according to the pattern, this is the middle, this is the one next to it, and then you're gonna start two blocks down from that one. So, This is the middle, this is the next one. So we would start two blocks down. Let me go up there. Again, down on a diagonal. over to the other side and you're going to be making something that looks like an X then you want to come up between the the bottom in the middle and at the top over to the one side, right in the middle, and then again in the middle between these two, you go down. So, that's what you want to do, and of course on the chart, you want to do all the X's, fill them all in first. So I'm going to do that and then we'll go on with the next step. As you can see, I finished doing the double cross stars to fill in. And now we're going to do the running stitches. And what they are, are these little lines in going in each of the directions on there. So let me show you how to do that. 
Now, I recommend that you do maybe all the running stitches in one direction, and I'm going to do them on the horizontal, and then afterwards I will do them vertically. But it's quite simple. Just come up from the back where you want the running stitch to be. And I'm using the same color that I used before because I want all the fill in on the tree to be the same color. Then just go across, you're going across the um, block or the checkered piece to the other side in the middle. And then you're going to skip the one block because that'll be doing, we'll be doing a woven circle stitch in that block. Go over to the next one. Oh, there. And down. And you can again do a sewing type of a stitch if you want instead of the jab and pull. And just continue to do this stitch where it's shown on the pattern, horizontally and vertically. All the running stitches are finished in both directions. The next stitch that we're going to be doing is a popular chicken scratch stitch, which is called the woven circle stitch. And on the chart, these are the little circles that you see. It's an easy stitch to do. All you need to do is bring the um, thread up from the back at one of the ends of the um, running stitch. Now you can either go in the circle around counterclockwise or clockwise. That's your preference. And what you want to do is put the, the a needle under the thread. You want it to be between the fabric and the thread and pull it. Then go under the next one. Pull it, and again, under the next one. For this one, you can go around once or twice. For this pattern, I like to go around two times. Then to end the stitch, you go back down where you came up. Now, if this sounds a little confusing, we do have a tutorial on how to do the woven circle stitch, and I will have a link in the video and also in the description. Continue to fill in with the woven circle stitch wherever you're supposed to on the pattern. Okay, I've finished the woven circle stitch to fill in the Christmas tree. And now let's make the tree stand that's down here at the bottom. Again, it's going to be, it has stars, so you're going to be using the double cross stitch. I've already showed you how to do it, but of course you're going to do your first stitch right in the middle of the tree. Again, I'm going to just show you once again how to do it. 
You bring the needle, you do diagonal, you go to the other side because you want to make a little X. Come up in the middle of the bottom between the two stitches that you did here and here. Down through the top between the two stitches. Over to the side and down through the other side. Now you're going to do a couple more of those. Um, on, you're going to do three more and then three more. And let me just show you the chart again so you can see what I'm talking about. There's the one in the middle and then one, two, three, one, two, three. And after you got that done, then the tree stand is done. I finished the uh, tree stand. I forgot to tell you the number that I used uh, for my embroidery floss. It's DMC 680. Now the last thing that needs to be done is the star on the top. And as you can see in the chart, again, here's the star. The star is Again, a double cross stitch, and the star I'm using DMC 783. Okay, quite simple. We're going to be doing, as I said, the double cross stitch, and then just some long lines around it. So it's right at the top. And I know you already know how to do this. This project is relatively quick to put together. I would say that you can really do it in about an evening. Okay. And to do the long stitches, all you have to do is now I'm not going all the way up to the end. I'm doing it like in the middle of the square. And just take a couple stitches like that. So I'm going to continue to do this. And then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, it's finished. You may be wondering, what can I do with this? Well, here is a one idea. You could just put it in an embroidery hoop, put a little ribbon on the top and hang it up for the holiday. You could make it into a pillow. Um, make it as an accent piece in maybe a table runner. Or you could make it as a hot mat on your table uh, for the holidays when you uh, have dishes that you want to put on the table that are hot. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. To follow us, just click the link in the video or in the description. Also visit our website, needlepointers.com, for other chicken scratch projects that you can make.